Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to attempt re-bluing this uh, barrel here for my 22. And I've never done this before, so honestly this is just going to be kind of a for fun, let's see how this goes sort of a thing. So right here is the barrel. And I've got this barrel as cleaned off as I could get it. This was painted before, and I took all the paint off. They did kind of a terrible job of painting it. And... Now I just want to see if I can re-blue it. So I've got this super clean. I used some steel wool to brush it all off and then rinsed it off really well in the sink after using some degreaser and cleaner in general. I will link to the different materials that you'll be needing for this down in the description. You can pause the video to look at the warnings or the instructions here and just familiarize yourself with what the process is supposed to look like. And then real quickly I want to just explain the steps that I did. I used a, a wire brush on the bench grinder to clean off all the paint on the barrel before I got started. And then after I was done cleaning it down to bare metal, I used some brake cleaner to remove all the other surface oils or things that might be on it. I then wiped off the excess brake cleaner and used dish soap and water just to wash the surface totally clean and then dried it to prepare it for the bluing. So I'm actually just going to use these q-tips here. This stuff is highly corrosive, so we don't really want to get it on us, especially in your eyes. So let's just go ahead and dip in here and see what happens. The, the tip of my knife is already kind of turning blue. It's kind of cool. All right. Whoa, look at that. That is insane. It's really instantaneous. It just transforms it fully. I've never done this before. This is really an experiment. So I think perhaps a better method would be to have a larger application brush of some kind. But I don't know, it kind of is evening out, so it might not be all that bad, actually. Cat, this stuff probably isn't good for you to be around. Honestly. Honestly, honestly. So I'm being as careful as I can to not get this stuff on me. But wow, this stuff is very reactive. So we're going to take this over and just rinse it off in the sink momentarily here. It says we can do multiple coats of it, so I will be right back with it. It's not going to be all that interesting anyway. So here's the barrel now. After we rinsed it with water, looks pretty good. I mean, it's a little bit blotchy, but not too bad. Now, in order to make this darker, well, actually, the finishing step is just to lightly buff it with steel wool. So that's what we'll do. I guess it's just to clean off the surface. Oh yeah, wow, actually that makes a huge difference. It leaves the bluing that is like kind of ingrained in the metal and it takes off the surface excess kind of it looks like. So I'll continue to touch this up here then. I think we're going to do a second coat. We're going to apply some more after lightly buffing it. Yeah, see, look at, see that? You could see how instantly it turned dark. Mm -hmm. wow. And so I think this is the wrong way to apply it. Ruben is here now with me. Because I think it's probably better to get the whole thing coated at once. And not like this painting process that I'm participating in here. But after you buff it out, it seems like it works pretty good. This stuff smells kind of weird. But yeah, it's it's way more successful than I expected it to be. It makes me less afraid of repairing other guns now. Yeah, there it is. You're supposed to let it act for like 30 seconds, and it's taken me longer than 30 seconds to apply it. So I will go rinse it off again, and then we'll check it out. So this is what it looks like after rinsing it off here again. And it makes me kind of not want to use the steel wool on it because it's really nice and dark, but it's a little bit blotchy and I think that's kind of what 
using the steel wool does is it kind of smooths out the blotchiness. Who knew that you could re-blue? So there it is. Looks pretty good. And please, I hope this isn't upside down in the video. No, I don't think it is. So, yes, you can re-blue stuff, even if you've never done it before. So, uh, improvements would be to maybe use a little bit larger applicator so that it's more even. But once you buff it out, it pretty much turns out even anyway. So, link in the description to some bluing chemicals. I'm glad I screwed the cap on. Yeah, me too. This is Ruben's bluing stuff, so thank you, yep. Ruben. I purchased this. Yep. <laughs> And, sponsored uh, it for Ben. <laughs> yep, you're welcome. But I, but they didn't sponsor me, so. Thumbs down for the cat. So if anyone dislikes this video, we'll assume it's because you dislike the cat, not the content of the video. Right, cat. Good thing this barrel isn't attached to anything. Not that I would ever shoot you, because this is actually a really fun, nice shop cat. Does it have a name? Uh, I'm not sure actually that it is. <laughs> So if you want to name the cat, you can name the cat down in the description and we will uh, take the highest liked uh, comment and name. Okay, maybe this will help you with your naming of the cat. Its eye was like really weird when it was born. Here, hold still cat. Gotta look at the camera. See? His left eye, or on the right, is a little bit weird. He purrs like, he, it, her, purrs like crazy. Listen. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Okay. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you in the next video. Check out these stairs. These are for my attic, and they're done now. See ya.